Today, friends, we're going to use Tinkercad, Pixlr, and Bamboo Lab Studio to make a fantastic narwhal keychain. So let's get cracking. So real quickly, if you haven't seen my Maker Lab tutorial image to keychain, it did turn out really awesome. It was this one right here, but a user reached out saying, hey, I can't get this one to work. I tried to simplify the image which looked pretty cool but once it was brought in the slicer it looked like this which leads me to the point that apps can be really slick but sometimes it's just easier to create it by hand friends let me show you some steps for step one friends we are going to use pixlr express i'm going to choose open image and then here is the original i'll bring it in and let me show you what the issue is i'm going to choose create new so several issues there are a lot of details here there are many colors and check it out this line doesn't finish for this project to really work really well you need the black line to flow all the way around so you've got an outside of your keychain we're going to fix that super quick let me show you how of course before we can make any adjustments we need to unlock that layer on my drawing tool i'm going to switch to the brush we do need to grab the color i'm going to use the pick tool and now we can click and I can paint that so it seals the area. So that makes it easier for the next step because it's actually one piece. Now let's get rid of some of these details. Friends, we're going to use another awesome tool called the fill tool. I want to fill all of this gray with the same color. I want to get rid of those dots. Once again, color picker. This is the color I'm going to stick with. Click here to make it permanent, fill tool selected, and now every time I click, it clears those all up. Now I had shut off contiguous, so it found all of them in one click. I'm going to undo that just so you can see how much effort that saved. If we go back to contiguous, I would click that one, and then this one, and then this one. So I'm getting rid of all of these highlights that may have made it cool, but it makes it tougher for a keychain. Now I can get rid of those in one step. I want to fix the blue of the shirt as well. Once again, pick tool, find the color I'm keeping, click somewhere to make it permanent. I'm going to stay with the contiguous again. Let's get rid of those and it clears them all up in one click. I want to get rid of these little lines too. When I click, bingo, they're all filled in. You'll notice there are some real tiny ones here. I'm going to zoom in and we'll get those as well. It's that fast. I want this outside line to be gone. I'm going to do that by just making it a thick black line. Once again, I'm going to pick my color. I want it to be the black click somewhere else and when I click on this outside edge notice it grabbed everything control Z to undo we can fix that by turning contiguous back on now when I click out here BAM it goes all the way around and it gets them all just like that the last feature I'm gonna get rid of is the narwhals little tusk I'm gonna simply switch to the gray that we used for everything else and I'm gonna clean that up as well so now it's one color. That is the entire step in Pixlr. Now we can hit save. We do want a PNG. I'm gonna put mine in my downloads folder and I'm gonna call it HLNW. And I'm gonna put a five just cause I've been playing with it all day. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick preview of how this works. We're gonna use pick SVG. We are gonna upload that picture. There is my Narwhal five and we're gonna simply hit open. Now real quickly when it opens, Look for little glitches. See these white spots? I don't really like them. Let's try Edge 4. That one's solid, but it's got a glitch out here. That's a problem. Even Edge 1 isn't perfect, so I'm going to check Internal. And Internal actually is nice and solid, so I'm going to download that SVG. I'm going to put it in my Downloads folder. I'm going to call it NR5 for Narwhal 5. And this is going to be the base and I'm going to save it. Friends, now it's time to move to Tinkercad. We are going to simply create a new 3D design. Let's name it. I'm going to call it Narwhal Keychain. I'm going to put a 5 after it. And we're going to move to the Import tool. And we're going to choose that file we just created. Narwhal 5 Base. We're going to hit Import. We do want it to be the art. And then we need to make sure the measurement is what we want. 
I do not want a keychain that's almost 30 centimeters across. So I'm going to scale this. I'm going to type 30% and press enter. 80 is still a huge keychain, so I'm going to try 20%. Almost 6 centimeters I can work with, so i got to remember the number I'm going to use is 20 for my scale percent. And I'm going to choose import. After a moment, our keychain arrives. So here's where it gets kind of cool. I'm going to set this to gray. Of course, because it's a narwhal, that seems like a good narwhal color. And then I'm going to switch the fill mode to silhouette. Bang! That is the back of your keychain. Now I want to put the next part on top. So I'm going to set the work plane right here. I'm going to do control D and D to drop. And I'm going to go back to default. Just like that, we've got the details. I'm going to set those to black. And you really could be done with your keychain right now. Just use the Bamboo Labs paint feature to make the shirt turn out a different color. I'm going to show you a way to make it just a little bit easier, though. Check out these steps. I have returned to Pixlr X. Here is our project from yesterday. And I want to make this shirt a separate part. Here's how we're going to do it. We're simply going to go to the three dots and we are going to duplicate the layer. Notice if we click on the bottom layer, it is locked. I'm going to leave it locked, but I'm also going to hide it. So that'll be the one we can always go back to. And this time I'm going to use the awesome cutout tool. Note I do need to click on the part that we can edit. That one is hidden. Now bingo, I can get rid of the black, the gray, the white. And I'm even going to get rid of the HL. Just like that, we have trimmed our design to the parts that we need. I can close that window and we can save that part for use. I'm going to keep those same measurements and just hit save as. And this is going to be called HLNW5 and shirt. Notice I only get three of these per day, so I've already actually burned two. It just took me two days to make the tutorial. The next step, of course, is to upload the picture. There is my shirt five. Once it loads, we can pick which one we want. Don't forget, as you check these, look for artifacts. That would cause a problem, so make sure you find one that works. And if your first time you used internal, it's pretty slick to stay with the same one because then all the measurements should line up perfectly. I'm going to hit download SVG. This time, instead of NW5 base, it will be NW5. And let's throw in the word shirt. And it's time to return to Tankercad. Now we can quickly select our import tool. When we choose import and we grab that shirt, once again, art. And don't forget that scale. We used 20%. So now it's the right size and we can choose import. After a moment, you've got your design. To add some cool texture, I'm going to make this a little bit taller than the other layer. Let's do 1.5 and press enter. Notice right now it is not on this top layer, so if I hit D for drop, it falls into place. We can use the arrow keys to nudge those in if you want to get it exact. You can set it to 0.1 to find the spot where you think it looks best. Bang! You have got a keychain with multiple parts. So it'll be pretty easy to paint in the Bamboo Lab Studio. All right, so we've come this far. As you can see, I have returned to Pixlr. We're going to make these letters turn out fantastic as well. Same trick. We're going to click on this and we're going to duplicate it. I'm going to take this layer that we just made a moment ago and I'm going to hide it. Let's go to one of our duplicates and I'm going to make it visible. I do need to make sure I move it to the top layer. And notice this already has a cutout, so I'm going to reset the cutout on this one. And now I can cut it out again. Once again, I want to remove the black and the gray and the blue and the little white ones. Bingo. All right, so remember those little glitches we saw a moment ago. I can see the little dots in here that are a bit of a problem. So we're going to use the retouch and the eraser tool. I'm going to make it really huge, no softness, and I'm just going to erase everything so there's no garbage on this design. Just trying to get it so it's more clean. I'm not clicking and dragging, I'm just clicking and cleaning. Notice if it does adjust, I'm going to do Control Z. 
And then also for bringing into that next part, I'm gonna change the color of this from yellow. Let's go back to our paint tool. I'm gonna fill, and I wanna fill that with black. It just shows up a lot better. So now, bing, set the black and fill, fill, fill. And then once again, we're gonna save that to bring into our other project. I'm gonna keep the PNG. And I'm going to save it as five. Notice I tried the yellow and it wasn't as cool. So I'm just going to replace that design. Hit yes. And I have burned all three of my saves. Of course, back to Pix SVG, import, open. After a minute, it shows me my Edge shell. That looks fantastic, actually, with Edge. I'm going to switch to internal one just so we stay consistent with the size. And I'm going to download the SVG. Change the name to letters, save, switch to Tinkercad, choose import, choose file, grab the letters, and import. Once again, art, and don't forget that magic 20%. Press enter, and bingo, we've got letters. There they are. I do want them up on top, so I'm going to click on them and do D to drop. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them into place. Shift nudge makes it a little quicker. And once I am happy, let's get a height that's going to be pretty groovy. I'm going to make them one millimeter taller. So let's see what happens if I do two. That is going to be pretty awesome. Notice they don't fit quite perfect. Watch this trick. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to make a second one that is outer line. Now at first it's going to be five, so it's huge. But I'm going to change that to point two and press enter. I'm going to make it round. I'm going to bump up the quality, and bingo, now it fits just like we want. I can just shift select both of those and nudge them over till it's perfect. I'm going to take those two, I'm going to group them just like that. We're ready to export. I'm going to start with the gray base. Export. I only want the selected shape STL. I store them in my 3D modeling folder. Notice I've got this one with the word temp with a space. Because of that space, I can double click, change the word to base, once again add a space, and press enter. It makes it faster. Now I do want to share with you something I just messed up. I forgot the keychain hole. Normally we bring out a hole. I shift squeeze. I'm going to set that to size 5 by clicking and changing. The shift squeeze makes that work. And then we could shift select those two, do control G to group so the hole was in it. We're actually going to do that same step though in Bamboo Lab Studio. So it's kind of like two tutorials in one. Let's grab the next piece called the outline. Export STL, still the selected shape with the word base in a space. I'm going to call it outline with a space. Hit save. Switch to the shirt. Export selected shape STL and those same steps for that and the letters and press enter next step is bamboo lab studio here's where it gets really cool we're gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna add all of those pieces we have the base the outside the shirt and the letters simply select them all and hit open it'll say do you want a single object multiple parts and yes we do now that looks absolutely spiffy. If we switch to objects, we can now paint it. I'm going to take the base of mine, and I want it to be gray. I want the outline to be black. I'm going to make my shirt blue, and I'm going to make the letters green. Of course, friends, if you want to paint individual features, note if you have a single piece like this, paints real good, but because of this connection right here, it fills it all, which is a problem. You can do Control Z, of course, and you could do this by hand. Just make sure you zoom in super close. Notice if you do get outside, it will paint that. You can do Control Z to fix it. Notice you can mess around and be as perfect as you want, trying to get that all filled in. Dragging across the shape is pretty effective as well. Just remember, if you ever make a mistake, you can do Control Z. And I'm going to call that good. Friends, don't forget we got to add that hole. I'm going to right click on this and we're going to add a negative part. I want it to be a cylinder. I already switched to object mode. 
so I can edit it. I'm going to tell it, OK. Now let's get this to the right size. I'm going to scale it. It's got uniform on. I like to use a size 5 for my keychain. And then we can move it into location. Note, I want Z to be 0. So I'm going to press Enter. That helps me line it up to right where I want it. Just like that. Since it is a negative part, now when we hit slice plate, bingo, we have got a hole in our keychain. How cool is that? Absolutely love Bamboo Studio and the painting. If we go back to our prepare tab and global, I'm going to use point two standard. Everything else is so simple. We can just simply click print plate and send it to the 3D printer. It takes a moment for it to download, but once it does, we can hit play and check everything out from wherever we are. And after a little more than 40 minutes, bam, check out that keychain. Awesome details, eyes turned out good, and there is that cutout tail. How cool is that? In wrapping up, friends, I want to say thanks again to Kelly for the question. Absolutely love user questions. I had totally forgot how cool Pixlr was, and I always love using Tinkercad and Bamboo Lab Studio. Of course, friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering. Friends, while wrapping up, I want to take a moment to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I also want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the Day One Favorites, the Useful Starters, and the Tinkercad Essentials. If you scroll down below that, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it, and at the very bottom, you will find a a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses offered at cadclass.org. You can use this link to visit now. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in message tool, Friends. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. You can also click up here at the top and find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.